found it out. What's the first three letters say? What's the first three letters? Act. It turns two words into one word. Sharita Jones is a hands-on mom. Better, that's what you say. She felt her daughter Christiana was doing well in her last school, especially after all the time away from the classroom during the pandemic. Christiana was a great student in class, not a behavior problem at all. I thought that she was doing great from the latest report card. But when her daughter Christiana moved to a new school, she learned her good report cards had not been telling the full story. It was extremely surprising to find out that she was on a lower reading level than what I thought she was. The new school's assessments showed the nine-year-old was actually three grade levels behind. I ate the rest of it in there. True. Lee. Actually. So what's the word? Actually. Exactly. Actually. Good grades can be deceiving. Maya Martin Cadogan is the founder and executive director of Parents Amplifying Voices in Education. What we actually know is that many kids are not on grade level and that grades are oftentimes reflecting things that are not just about academics. They're reflecting behavior, attendance, participation. In fact, there's a dramatic disconnect with parents when looking at their own kids on how much academic learning has suffered since the end of the pandemic. Nationally, nine out of 10 parents, regardless of race, income, or geography, believe their child is at or above grade level. But just 26% of eighth graders are proficient in math, and only 29% are proficient in reading. Parents were just doing their best to make sure that kids were able to access school as it was, but that doesn't mean it was what it should be. That will, will, W-I-L-L. So what should parents do? Parents need to first just ask questions of their child's teacher. They need to ask what grade level their children were reading on, what level math their children were doing, and then ask what you can do at home with your child in order to support them, and what additional programs they might need access to to extend their learning through summer programs. I would say to parents to not be afraid to ask for help. Having that shared power between me and the teacher is a wonderful feeling. Jones is now working with Christiana's teacher to understand where she needs help, and she's seeking learning opportunities outside of school for this summer. A good mixture of both summer camp and summer education at the same time. I love solutions. Parents understand that the school day is not just eight to four, it's 24 seven all the time, seven days a week, because that's really when kids are learning and applying the learning that they have in the classroom to the real world. There have never been more resources available than right now to help kids get back on track. I wish I knew sooner about Christiana's education. Then I would have been able to do other things to help. I'm glad that I'm finding out now because it is still time to be able to fix everything. There's no sign of his en ending. Of this ending. Uh, oh, I didn't see that. Of this ending. To learn more about how you can help your child this summer, check out gobeyondgrades.org.